today we are going to continue with our ordinary differential equation topic that we are going to cover is homo genius equation after this we will also cover a very important concept called integrating factor which is explicitly mentioned in syllabus integrating factor in this integrating factor we will be studying about certain rules if it is exact we already know the consequences but if it is not exact in this case integrating factor is multiplied and it makes it a perfect differential so that makes it exact form so here are certain rules we are going to do the proofs so if m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 is homogeneous homogeneous then integrating factor is 1 by mx plus ny provided mx plus ny is not equal to 0 this is one of the important results because already in homogeneous we study we will be studying about substitution but we have to also use this format because this is also one of the rules after this we will be studying that suppose our differential equation is of the form y f1 x1 dx plus x f2 x y dy is equal to 0 then our integrating factor is 1 by mx minus ny provided mx minus ny is not equal to 0 in our examination, the focus is always on the application part. That is, if you know these results, you will be able to solve this equation. But, many a times, these derivations are also asked. So, I am going to do the derivations as well. Thirdly, suppose, m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. Alright? And we find dou m by dou y and that is not equal to dou n by dou x. Then in that case, another method that we have to employ is we will find 1 by n dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x. And if this comes out to be function of x alone, then our integrating factor in that case is e to the power fx dx. On the same lines, if it is 1 by m dou n by dou x minus dou m by dou y and this comes out to be any function of say y alone. Then our integrating factor in this case is e to the power gy dy. In our examination, we have to be cognizant of these results and find the different different differential equation solution. So, in today's lecture, we are going to study about homogeneous and this integrating factor proof and also, we will carry forward with linear differential equation. Here, we will be studying about of this two format, that is, first order linear differential equation, dy by dx plus p, p is a function of x and q is also a function of x. So, in this case, 
integrating result solution will be y into integrating factor is equal to integral of integrating factor into q dx. We will also proving this. That means that we will not merely remove the result, but we will also derive this result. But in the examination, what we ask is application of this linear differential equation. It is also of the format dx by dy plus p is function of y here and x is equal to q of function is y here. On the same line, it's what is going to be uh, the solution for this? Solution for this is going to be x into integrating factor equal to integrating factor into q dy because here it's a function of y and here we should also mention what is integrating factor that we will be doing it in the proof itself so in this lecture this is the overview that we are going to take and I am going to start with homogeneous equation should I rub it? Okay. please make a chart of this because this will be helpful in solving the problems Alright, homogeneous equation. Mathematically, if we speak, it is say any function of alpha x, alpha y, that is alpha to the power n function of x, y. First of all, we are going to talk about homogeneous equation. It amounts to just like we have scaling property in uh, engineering topics. So, suppose any function fx, suppose we take in three variable. It is x square plus y square plus z square plus xy plus yz plus zx. Alright, this is the claim. So, here the degree is 2, we can readily see 2, 2, 2, here also 2, 2 and 2. So, if we just find its alpha scale point, alpha x, alpha y and alpha z, so this becomes alpha square x square plus alpha square y square plus alpha square z square plus alpha square x y plus alpha square y z plus alpha square z x. So we can take alpha square common and we can write in this fashion. This is nothing but our function itself x, y and z. So here the degree is 2. So the concept of degree is very much central to this homogeneous equation. Suppose this concept many a time student confused between order and degree. Just bear in mind, suppose if I ask you a question that what is the degree of 1? Suppose I write 1 and I ask the degree. Many times students say it is 1. No. The degree of 1, 1 can be written as x to the power 0. So degree is zero. All right. So now coming back to our uh, important discussion on homogeneous, and especially in differential equation, it is of this type that f alpha x alpha y is alpha to the power n f x by y. That means it can be expressed in terms like this where n is degree. Not only that, it can also be expressed in terms of say beta to the power n any function g y by x. Any of these can be taken. 
It depends on how you take, whether you take x common and take it outside or y common and take it outside. We will take some of the examples on this and then we will proceed. I will just take one example on homogeneous that is dy by dx is equal to 2xy e to the power x by y whole square divided by y square 1 plus e to the power x by y whole square plus 2x square e to the power x by y whole square y square 1 plus e x square plus 2x square Alright, so this is the question that was asked in UPSC IES examination 2012. To many it may seem quite cumbersome, but it is not so. In the equation itself it is quite apparent that it is a homogeneous function. We can see here, its degree is 1 and 1, 2, here also 2 and here also 2. And it is also written very much explicitly in terms of x by y. So the algorithm in homogeneous is, suppose if it is some function of f y by x, I'll find, then we readily put y is equal to vx. And then we take its derivative and plug this into the original equation and then find it as well. Here also it is in that same format. But here we, it is very much evident from the question itself. It is not y by x, it is x by y. So that means we have to take the reciprocal. That is, we have to just write dx by dy is equal to y square and our substitution is also pretty much clear. 2x square e x by y whole square divided by 2xy e to the power x by y whole square. Okay. So our substitution is also very much evident. So we will put x is equal to dy. That means if we differentiate this becomes dx by dy is equal to v plus y dv by dy. Okay? And we will put this value over here. So we can write this as y square 1 plus e to the power v square plus 2 y square v square e to the power v square divided by 2v y square e v square. We can see y square y square and here y square can be cancelled out. So I will just cancel it out. So this becomes v plus y dv by dy is equal to 1 plus e v square plus 2 v square e v square divided by 2 v e v square. We will further simplify it and we can write this as y dv by dy is equal to 1 plus e v square plus 2v square ev square minus of 2v square ev square divided by 2v ev square. So this and this get cancelled and we can write the value over here. So we will just invert this one. We can write this as 2v ev square divided by 1 plus ev square dv, this comes as our variable separable and we can proceed from here on. So, if 
we take 1 plus e to the power v square as t then where 2v dv square dv is equal to dt. So that means we can write this as dt by t is equal to dy by y. So we can write this as ln of t is equal to ln of y plus ln of c. So after this we will simplify this is t is equal to y c. t is 1 plus e to the power v square v was x by y whole square. So this is our answer. We could have also done by uh, this but that would not yield us the sort of result that we are seeking. So we have to uh, in that case it will be e to the power minus v square that we will be doing and this question was asked in 2012 for 12 marks. Now this concept is pretty much clear and uh, homogeneous system uh, equations is uh, very much uh, visible from the equation itself but there is also a rule that we have just now studied and that rule was m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 is homogeneous equation then integrating factor is equal to how much 1 by mx plus ny provided mx plus ny is not equal to 0. Now this kind of proof have been asked in examination and this proof has also been asked. So it is important that we should know how we provide its proof. So we can write this mdx plus ndy is equal to, we can write this as half mx plus ny into dx by x plus dy by y plus mx minus ny dx by x minus dy by y okay this is m dx suppose here mx mx into dx by x xx get cancelled means m dx here mx again xx get cancelled m dx means 2 m dx 2 divided by 2 1 so m dx we have got similarly we have written n dy n dy minus minus plus n dy 2 n dy and half and this and this has been cancelled that is mx dy by y has been cancelled with this point so we can write this this is an important way of writing it because uh, in other uh, rules also we are going to start with this so we have to remember that we have to start this proof with this now our uh, claim is that uh, this is an integrating factor 1 by mx plus ny is an integrating factor so we know that integrating factor is something if we multiply it thoroughly in this equation that will make it exact so we will do it so we are going to multiply with the integrating factor so this becomes m dx plus n dy divided by mx plus ny is equal to how much this is half this becomes what? Same one becomes, so this becomes dx by x plus dy by y plus mx minus ny divided by mx plus ny. This we can write as, see this can be written as d of ln x minus ln y. Similarly, this could also be written as d ln x plus d ln y. So, I can write this as, you know, logarithmic property that this is log x y, get 
taking log and then whatever we should take and then, and then plus mx minus ny divided by mx plus ny d of ln x by y okay now we are ask, arguing that this is a homogeneous equation and just now we have studied that if it is a homogeneous equation that means mx minus ny divided by mx plus ny is some function of say x by y with some degree so we can replace this with this fx y f x by y so this we can write as half of d ln x y plus f e to the power log x by y d ln x by y so ln. so this can be written as y because we can write x y as e to the power log x y and here we are replacing it with g of ln x y that means all we are saying is f of e ln x y is equal to g of ln x y and we can readily see that this is a perfect differential this is g by t dt if ln x by y is t so this has rendered it exact and this has uh, proved our claim that this indeed is the integrating factor because once once we are multiplied by 1 by mx plus ny it has rendered us exact differential equation and uh, this proof has been asked in uh, 2010 in IES examination so it is pertinent that it, may, it becomes very necessary for 2020 because uh, many a times questions are repeated uh, in decade or in two decades or so so please uh, make a note of uh, this kind of uh, proofs on the similar lines where what we have written in our uh, start of the lecture that suppose uh, we are given any equation differential equation y f1 x y dx plus x f2 x y dy is equal to 0 then 